So before we initiate the dialogue, let's spend 10 minutes. All of you have pen and paper. Life is all about authenticity and openness. Huh? If these two things are missing from life, there is no spirituality. Authenticity and absolute openness within your own self, with your own self. So just write the things that you don't accept in yourself, whatever that is. There are always some habits, some patterns, some attitudes we have in life which we do not accept. Everybody has that. So take some time, think deeply, think extremely honestly and write those things that you do not accept in your life. Everybody wrote certain things. You don't need to share. Huh? How long have you been struggling with these things that you wrote? Whatever that is. Random. How long you've been struggling with? 30 years. As far as you can remember. Okay. Let's simplify it. What's really going on in our own lives? Why is such? Why we have to live with all of this for 30 years? Hmm? Have you heard about three energy compositions? Rajas, Tamas, Sattva. Anybody who's not familiar with these? We all are familiar with these. Huh? Everybody. Look at the mechanics today. Huh? What happens? So when there are issues in, in you that you identify, most of the majority of the people reject those issues and start to fight with those issues, start to find quick solutions to those issues. The whole life process becomes a process of solving some problems. It becomes a struggle. People who have a lot of rajas energy. Okay, little more. What is Rajas? Can anybody explain? Action, do worship. Action oriented. I want to do something about something. Yeah, that's Rajas. Whenever you will approach your life from the perspective of the Rajas, then whatever that you're not accepting in yourself, you will start to fight with it. Majority of the people do that. We start to fight with things that we do not accept. Life becomes a struggle. It could take 30 years, it could take forever, you will still not solve these issues. These issues will still not get sorted out. Because there is a deep rejection. Things that you've written, there is a deep rejection of those things, right? See how you have been rejecting certain things within your own self for years together. And see the amount of damage it has already done to you. In nature, have you ever seen anything rejecting anything else? I'm asking. In nature, have you ever seen anything rejecting anything else? No. Nature is on the formula, on the basis of coexistence. But in human mind, there's a whole thing of rejection. Things that we do not accept, things that we constantly reject, things that we constantly get, want to get rid of. I'm sharing this and I'm calling it a great secret because I've lived it, I've suffered through it enough. And hence I'm sharing it with you. You can never get rid of this loop if you don't identify it. Till the time you will approach this from the energy of Rajas, it's uh, you're getting further stuck. What do you call that in English? Swamp. Quicksand. Huh? Where you keep sinking yourself deeply. So this is one, one thing what happens. Huh? Which I'm saying majority of the people approach this from the perspective of Rajas. Huh? When they reject something. Then there's a second lot of people.
what they would do for things that they reject they will try to paramji ignore it and put it under the carpet yeah or as sandeep said they will say that they have accepted it but they have not deeply they have not but they will feel that they have accepted it huh? now what is happening the tamas has taken over the energy of tamas sandeep has taken over which says i don't want to deal with it yeah G. 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 वेरी ब्यूटिफुल एग्जाम्पल सो यू नो दिस हाँ सो यू नो दिस फॉर थर्टी ईयर्स फॉर एन एग्जाम्पल दैट यू नॉट एबल टू सिट इन दैट पोस्टर एट द लेवल ऑफ बॉडी वी आर सेंग but you've not done anything about it yeah. what is playing that's exactly what i'm saying that okay tamas is playing so i've never tried i've never done anything to sit in that posture and tomorrow morning onwards he will start to just work on it i will now get it suddenly from the tamas the jump happens to the rajas again it becomes a struggle yeah please see this both attitudes are the attitudes of extreme and each extreme is a cause of suffering please see this clearly today the are you, are you with me jashdeep the attitude to the excessively work on it and solve it because of the first rejection because of the non acceptance of it you made the whole process into a struggle you made whole life into a struggle already out of the game and then on the other hand you become extremely lazy about it you want to forget about it the attitude of every being on this earth or every i should say unaware being on this earth is to live in extreme the extreme of rajas or the extreme of tamas and aisa bhi nahi hai ki aap tamas mein ho to hamesha tamas mein rahoge ye pendulum move karega in certain situation you will be absolutely in rajas in certain situations you will be absolutely in tamas we are very shrewd people we keep on shifting our skills we are very very shrewd people and between these two the suffering never ends because you in either case live on the extreme are you understanding the threads here that how these two ek- extremes of rejection and numbness really kills the whole life force the non acceptance and we were talking about accepting others no param ji how will you accept your life partner or anybody in your family if you are not fully accepting your own self first i know it might be sounding contradictory and we'll come to that but how will you accept anybody else in life if you've not accepted it yourself completely with all your faults and issues and everything we we are struggling we are, i see all of us have become a war zones within ourselves we are fighting within our own self for things that we do not accept in ourselves and i'm really telling you from the deepest experience today it's a secret if you don't accept even if your own so called negativities which you've written down in this book there is no progress happening that's the first step friends that's the first step all that you have written right now you have to totally accept it not reject it not shun it under the carpet not become obsessively active to solve it totally accept it then we'll come into the sec- next phase but the first phase is you totally accept it ye bhi parmatma ne diya theek chahe wo sanskar the chahe wo jo bhi hai theek मैं राजी हूँ दैट्स द फर्स्ट स्टेटमेंट ऑफ अ साधक जी और मैं जो भी खामियां हैं उसको एक्सेप्ट नहीं कर रही हूँ नहीं हो जाओगे कैसे हो जाओगे इगोइस्टिक 
इफ़ यू एक्सेप्ट हाँ तो ये हो गया तमस वॉच आउट बी वेरी वेरी क्लियर इफ यू एज शी सिंग इफ यू एक्सेप्ट ऑल योर नेगेटिविटीज इफ दई समथिंग कॉल नेगेटिव इफ यू एक्सेप्ट ऑल योर नेगेटिव नेगेटिविटी इज ऑल्सो शी सिंग देन आई बिकम लाइक वेरी इगोस्टिक येस आई एम एंग्री यू नो हाँ तो आप मार्ग ले रहे हो तमस का सो वट यूर सेंग इज एक्सेप्टेंस मीन्स नॉट वर्किंग ऑन इट दैट्स वट यूर सेंग राइट बिकॉज दैट्स अ कॉमन कंसेप्शन कॉमन परसेप्शन दैट एक्सेप्टेंट एक्सेप्टेंस मीन्स नॉट वर्किंग ऑन इट कॉमन अंडरस्टैंडिंग यही है ना दैट इफ आई एक्सेप्ट समथिंग विच मीन्स आई एम नॉट वर्किंग ऑन इट वेर इज एवोल्यूशन देन You are evolutionary beings, mind you. We all are evolutionary beings. So the third layer of this, the third layer of it, all the things that you've written, first you really, totally, deeply accept it that yes, this is part of me. Yes, this anger. Yes, this rebellion. Yes, this sadness. If somebody is sad. Yes, this irritatedness. Yes, this is part of me. Yes, I have cultivated it over a period of time. No rejection. Yes, this is my own seeds, Paramji. Yes, this rebellion, I must be cultivating it unconsciously. Yes, this anger. Yes, this anger, I must be cultivating it unconsciously. This is acceptance. So I am not allowing my energy to go into the absolute rajas, becoming obsessive about it, trying to solve it. And I am not letting my energy go to the tamasic side, Sandeep. Where is I'm I'm putting it under the carpet. I'm ignoring it or becoming numb about it. All that is tamas. Mm-hmm.